testimonies. We've all heard some. This or that person telling the story of and the reason for his or her faith. In this video, we will go through a summary of one testimony and then we will analyze it. Meet our mystery guest. His true identity will be revealed by the end of the video. He made a video in which he gives reasons for his faith. I've listened to his video and noted the important parts which I will now enumerate here. He was raised as a Christian, the grandson of a Baptist minister, but he fell into vice, alcoholism and fornication. Growing up, he saw that people were sinning and not following the Bible. At one point, he started searching and seeking peace. His life was changed from darkness to light, away from a life of sin and hopelessness. Now he believes in God and loves Him. He loves and follows the teachings of Jesus, even more than the other faiths. He wishes the world would be full of peace and that all would respect each other. He wants to show his faith to everybody, even if it means being persecuted or ostracized for it. Now that you know his story, let me ask you a couple questions. Do you think this person is justified in his faith? Do you share that person's beliefs? Does he sound like a deluded person or a rational, intelligent person? Would you befriend him? Would you go to church with him? Would you entrust your children's education to him? Think about it for a second. If you answered yes to any of these questions, I can safely say that this person has started to brainwash you. That's not very nice. How dare you say something like that? Let me explain. When you hear a testimony like this, with a person who struggles in life and then finds God, something special happens. As long as you're an empathic person, emotions will take over. Emotions like sadness, hope, joy, pride, and so on. Emotions are very strong. They can convince someone of almost anything. They can make you cry when the Lion King dies, even though he doesn't really exist. They can convince you that God exists, that a holy book is true, that a certain religion deserves respect and obedience. But emotions get in the way of rational thinking. You see, the fact that someone has problems in his former life, got saved, and then gets persecuted for it, tells nothing about the person's character, intentions, or values. Nothing whatsoever. You've been tricked, brainwashed, misguided. A testimony is an excellent way to recruit people into a religion. Using emotions, you can easily convince someone that your religion is the right one for them. As heartwarming as it is, this story tells nothing of the truthfulness of the religion. In other words, just because something is appealing doesn't make it true. Just because it's comforting to know that there's a deity somewhere watching over you and helping you when you need it the most doesn't make that deity any more real. You see, this person I was talking about, the mystery guest, that person is a Muslim. I found this video on a YouTube channel featuring almost 200 videos of Muslims, most of which are testimonies of people converted to Islam. All of them are heartfelt, none of them are rational. In fact, the arguments given in these videos would apply to any religion. Replace the word Islam with Christianity, Judaism or Buddhism or Mormonism or Scientology or any other religion and it would be mostly the same story. This is exactly like the horoscope in a newspaper. In short, a religious person's testimony is not factual evidence for their God.